Hello everybody and welcome back to From the Desk of Studio Ultra. Today I am going to review Prydac, another 2007 Bionicle set from the Baraki Villain series, so let's do this. So here is Prydac, well, here is his canister. Um, he's in his uh, packaging, also known as a canister, because, you know, it's the uh, early 2000s Bionicle and whatnot. And uh, as I said before, I love the canister packaging for all these Bionicle sets. It's not a normal, old, boring cardboard box. And LEGO just makes these awesome, cool containers for their characters. And especially the Baraki ones are really awesome. They complete the underwater feel. And I think it's really, really cool. Now, um, the difference in between Pridax and the previous Baraki that I reviewed is that this time, of course, the most obvious detail is that there's a huge sticker with Pridax on the front. And also he has white rocks uh, instead of yellow. Karapars was yellow. Um, this time is to signify that he is the white villain, uh, kind of in contrast to Matoro, who is the white hero of this series, of the Mari series, that is. Um, but yes, yeah, so we have all this, Bionicle Baraki, there is Prydak right there, shooting a squid on the side. Some really, really cool detail, as I pointed out in the last one. He has some nice cracked little details here with some bubbles, really nice and marine-like. Um, I noticed that this packaging in particular is a bit more darker than Carpars. Uh, I reviewed Carpars last time, and uh, he has had a more lighter blue color. This is a darker blue color, which is pretty neat. Uh, on the back is just more stuff about Prydak. Uh, all the Baraki are right here. I'm just showing the squid launcher feature I'm trying to get it on the side because they can't really fit into the frame standing all the way up but what in the world um, here we go um, anyway so yeah you can see the uh, squid launching stuff going on over here and then you can put pride deck into the canister if you want to um, Lego stuff a lot of stuff here and just the uh, basic things written down and whatnot uh, and just more of that but anyway uh, now that that's all been said and done for the packaging, let's go ahead and open this up and then we can build and review him. These were always a little bit difficult to pop off. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have Prydak out of his canister, let's go ahead and build him. Alright, so here's Prydak, completely built, and I must say, he is a great looking set, and about his build, his build is completely unique uh, to the other two sets, when compared to the other two sets, that is, uh, because he doesn't have a standard Paraka and Nika build, he actually has this weird... I don't even know. It do he doesn't have a torso, basically, is what I'm saying. And so that made him a lot more fun and different to build. And uh, it's always great to have something different. Now, um, because of this fact, he is a little bit more lanky and uh, sometimes a bit more unbalanced. But I'll get to more about that in a moment. But yes, this was a really fun build and a really good looking set. Now, um, to those of you who aren't aware, he's supposed to resemble a shark. Um, he kind of does to me, kind of doesn't. I mean, uh, more or less, if you look at the head on the side with the fin on bottom and 
wow, I pointed at the top and said bottom. Fin on bottom and then the fin on top. He looks more like a sunfish with the face, but the rest of it looks very shark-like. And to those of you who are really concerned about the color scheme, that's not blood. He's just naturally that red in certain places. And speaking of the color scheme, he looks absolutely amazing. I love the way the red and white come together, especially in the fact that they are dual molded pieces. And so it kind of just works out. He looks really cool with it. And I especially love his face, his weird looking face. As you can see his little teeth right here and then his little jaws right here as well. So yes, this is a nice and really cool set. Um, some complaints though, uh, of course, like I was mentioning earlier, is that his lankiness and he's just kind of wobbly here if you can look. He has no torso or any chest piece of any kind. He's kind of just swiveling right here. And although it is cool to have waist articulation, this point is very, very loose. So he's just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yes, uh, but yeah, besides that, he's a great, great figure. Um, he's really a cool looking monster and I absolutely love him. He also makes use of some really cool pieces, including uh, the Takanuva legs right here, which I think is really awesome. That it is implementing some old pieces, as well as some new pieces as well, like these blades and of course his head. Um, these blades in particular are kind of this weird rubbery type of material at the tips. Don't know why, um, sometimes that can succumb to uh, bending uh, if you have it in a Lego bin of just miscellaneous Lego pieces, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, an awesome set indeed. Now, um, another thing I wanted to point out is that of the three dual molded blade pieces that he has, only one has this red tip looking thing, and I figured, hey, that can be the uh, dorsal fin that he has, and it looks really great. I'm glad that they implemented this piece and didn't leave it bare, so they added this dorsal, dorsal. they added this dorsal fin right here, um, so that way it can look a bit more complete, and it looks more shark-like, and I really like that. Also kind of like his hunched over uh, kind of stature, he looks a bit more, I don't know about menacing, but he looks definitely unique in his own way and he's got all this really coolness. Now um, all the pros aside, he is pretty awkward, especially with whatever in the world is going on right here. Um, <laughs> I don't know, they, they just kind of slapped the squid launcher in a possible way so that I can see that they improvise, improvise, oh man, my, my language is refusing to exist today, um, improvise by putting this kind of peg, I don't know what it's called, this kind of axle peg thing, I don't know. They decided to improvise by putting this thing right here in order to uh, keep the uh, other fin slash blade right here so that way you can keep it uh, even and sort of symmetrical but in the end it makes it look a little weird a little awkward I don't really know it tell me what you guys think about that but yeah they're just like we have to get the squid launcher on this uh, on the set somehow so that's the way they did it and it can go 50 50 some people might like it some people might absolutely not it kind of bugs me um, in the way it is but it's fine I can readjust it to any way I want uh, so that's no problem also I forgot to talk about his feet his feet are extremely long now this does help with stability the fact that it's longer means that he doesn't you know wobble around on his legs and feet too much um, and also gave us a head mold for the Karzani set, uh, just by putting these two feet together. Um, but yes, uh, the feet are actually kind of a pro here, so I, I, I like that. I also like that he does implement some black. Squid fell again. <laughs> anyway, I like how he implements some black here and there, just to add some more variety to the character. And also, I'm glad they added blue eyes instead of red eyes because I remember seeing the instructions for this set and like the eyes were red for some reason and it just didn't look good it was too monochromatic and it just it looked like uh, well it just it just didn't look good at all so I'm glad that they decided to switch it to blue and it looks really good that way it actually complements the white and red color it's uh, almost American in a way <laughs> I know that's that's reaching but yeah <laughs> but anyway um 
Yeah, so yeah, this is Prydak. Um, so anyway, as I mentioned before, he has a squid launcher in an awkward position. Um, but yes, the squid launcher, in fact, fires squid. And I do like the place where they put the squid ammo. It's actually quite nice to have it because he's like he's holding the ammo because, you know, what else would he be doing? I mean, yeah, you could have like a belt or something, but, um, you know, these are sea creatures. I mean, they're mutated warlord sea creatures, but they're still sea creatures. They're not going to be wearing any belts. Um, but anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and use the squid launcher function. Uh, sometimes these do work, sometimes they don't. Uh, it worked last time with Karapar, but that's because somehow I it just did a better job. So you just take this squid right here, this rubbery squid that actually feels like actual like lure, fishing lure, which is kind of ironic, I guess. And then you put it on the launcher, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> And then you release um, by, you know, firing the squid in sort of a slingshot manner, if I can get it to be that way. All right, let's go. Ah! Oh, let's try again. Yeah, he's not working too well. Oh, it shot backwards. <laughs> Where'd it go? All right, well, there you go. That was the squid launcher for what it's worth. It, it's not uh, too easy to do. It's actually kind of defective in a way. Um, but still, uh, it works if you just, if you just have, um, you know, if you just practice, it's kind of a thing you have to practice, you know, you have to figure out how to just get a feel for the squid launcher, it just doesn't come naturally. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so there was that. Okay, so now that I've talked about all that, let's go over articulation. Now this guy has a little more than the usual set, uh, as I pointed out earlier, um, pointed out you know anyway as i pointed out earlier he has waist but let's go ahead and go over it feet knees legs arms you know elbows and whatnot um waist of course and the head slash neck so i think that's all that needs to be said about pride act he's a really awesome set a unique build however he's a little bit lanky but that's something you can overlook and like i said he's just really really cool and uh, also another thing I forgot to point out are these two little blades slash spikes on his shoulders. Great for more detail and doesn't leave him more plain than he is. And that helps a lot more with the way he looks. Love his head sculpt, love his face, love all the sea monsters, sea creature stuff. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. But anyways, uh, I think that just about wraps it up for Prydak. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you like this video and enjoy these reviews. Comment down below what else you want to see me review, whether it be Bionicle or something else. And guys, I hope you have an incredible, awesome day, and you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.